someone nominated to represent you. Uh, integrated portions from IOAC. So I don't get the name yet. Maybe that was something that you can. IOAO. <laughs> IOAO, yeah. But whatever, that you would have somebody that um, would represent you uh, fully in terms of speaking on your behalf. I need to come in here and have the meetings here. I agree with you, uh, Russ, in terms of coming to the community. And we've always said that uh, you need to come to our community. You need to come and sit down and talk to us. So just to let you know, <clears throat> you may be aware already that the four First Nations and most of the First Nations in the, the Pansima area, at least from north of, uh, of um, Open Bight North, are developing marine news plants. And how is that? How is our marine news plan going to fit into the overall Pensima plan down the line? We're we're moving ahead. Um, Grace can tell you some of the things that are happening in your guys' marine news plan. Those kinds of things that are happening. One of our top priorities, I, I think, is is for the protection and enhancement. Protection and enhancement of, of the marine news I mean. We're probably not going to benefit from it, eh, Grace? Let's kind of get into, into place here, but our, hopefully our, our grandchildren will, and our, our kids will, and maybe even the young people will be mentioned. And, and the other one in regards to, you know, an example of a process that may, that may work as an example, you mentioned that the River Smith and the Salmon Society, yeah, that one. Maybe something to, to take, a, take a look at, see how it functions and how it is. But at, at, at times we, we also felt that we were um, we didn't have enough input in the name. And it's not so lack of, it's not a, a, a problem of, of the society itself. I mean, the goals and objectives were, were great. It's more of a, somebody mentioned earlier, you need that support for that. Um, as body to work with function problem, just like any, any 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 process or any relationship. You know, you want you want a good example of a good functioning uh, uh, process. Uh, federal government, the yeah. to every school district in the province. There's 60 school districts, guess which one still doesn't have it. We can't use Wake Forest or Kino. If we could, we could go K-12 to instead of K-8. to You know, um, and Balakula, we're still um, set back. Um, so without a systems upgrade, I think we're limited on what we can do with the internet. Well, from a government perspective, we're in the I, know that even I can't do video conferences <clears throat> like the Ministry of Forests can. 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 So that here. But they're not. 
Yes, they are. The, the, the MOF office. So well, maybe the MOF office could be the capability there could be made available for consumer meetings. So the room is the size of these two tables together. And so the government has to get some kind of perspective too. If we want these communities to be able to participate that way, then we need the resources. Yeah, we have to, in the upgrade, in the upgrade so, of the country, they should have so, that kind of thing. The other thing is, is a lot of people here are elderly now, and that doesn't mean they don't surf the internet. But a lot of, a lot of people, uh, we're, we're not brought up with the system, nor trained on So it's very difficult for them to find their way through some of these things. That doesn't mean that they can't fire up the computer and, and surf the internet. But what it does mean is we don't necessarily know how to use those tools. And I, I have to confess in working for a government that, that, that's expressed to say you will use those tools, I've never been trained and I don't have access to those tools. And, and if you put it in front of me, I wouldn't know how to initiate. I always have to go outside to initiate my, those things, always. So there's not a lot of capacity in the community. Okay, I think the technology is. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Just by the amount, we're bombarded all the time. So. I mean, the technology is there, and it's a good potential source. However, I don't think that applicability and development is very good because of what Ken said. A lot of people don't have computers. Um, you're not on Wi-Fi, are you? No. There's nothing. That just doesn't exist. Cell phones are three years old in the valley and they cover up to what Higgins were in Satsun. So technologically, we're really limited that way. Line speed um, with ExploreNet is about 230 kilobytes per second. And some of the documents that would be available and the presentations that would be available potentially on, on a site would not be able to open it. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a specific issue. It could be a good then, uh, secondary source of information, but it wouldn't work if we were relying on it heavily as a primary source or anything like that. Or even trying to do video conferences. Or so yeah. how, how do we get around that? We've been trying for years. We've been asking for years. And we still don't have the proper speed. I was going to mention, Alex has been sending me little bites with the Consima conference, like just little videotape sections. I can't watch them. I mean, it'll show up and it'll go for like not even 20 seconds before it stops and downloads. If it's a nine minute or a 20 minute thing, I'd have to leave my computer on all day and it would slow down, not just me, but our whole office on my computer trying to read this and, <coughs> and download it. So we just, if it emails too big, it gets deleted. So how, how do, what, what are the means of communication that work more effectively? Or even like someone in the community, you know, having some of the materials and just going around to the various groups, you know, spending an evening with us. You know, the Rod Gun Club are having a meeting saying, hey, can I take a half an hour of your time, right? And go and talk to them and, you know, that type of thing. Just um, go around to the, you know, to the various uh, groups. I think one thing that would work very well would be um, the community conference calls. They're limited in your applicability if you've got presentations, kind of follow along. You know, now turn to page 42, you know, look at that, see, and uh, that, it, it's really limited. But I know that um, MOF has video conferencing. The Exalta School was looking into it. I don't know if they have it as well as the hospital has it. So there may, and the reason I brought up is that you were saying there may be an opportunity to kind of coordinate with one community based. Um, access, access, yeah. yeah. And I don't think it would be helpful. No, it has to go somewhere. It has to be. They were talking about it. The principal, I believe it was, or the superintendent, came in and was asking if we had it one day. And he said, no, I'm looking into it. But I don't know if they got it. So, so, so 